This video is sponsored by Unolis.com. Part one, we're gonna take the hood out and um, unbend wherever it got bent to the best of our abilities, and then we're gonna paint it later. But um, plus, we're gonna take it off. To take it off, all right. We're gonna take off these two. Um, these two. This should be uh, fairly easy to take out. So we're gonna take this out. Just using this pick. Yep, that's that. So we gotta do the same thing. Don't lose them, save them. They just comes off fairly easily once you take that out. Okay. we're going to do this we're going to take these bolts off then this whole thing should come off all right first thing we're going to take off we're going to take this cover off it looks just uh looks like a cardboard or something but we're going to take this off carefully and once because we need to unhook the sensor that's connected here that uh probably tells the uh in, um probably tells the uh car that the hood is open or maybe it's the we're gonna see what it is but we're gonna to unhook to remove the hood we need to uh, unhook this wire here so we can do that first I'm just using a simple little pry bar here all right it's just this plastic screw here I mean it's actually um so just using this should come off all right once we uh, took off the plastic screws or clips actually they're not even screws so this thing just comes off and what this pipe is i thought it was a sensor but it's not it's just uh um it's just the washer fluid it's the uh, lining for the washer fluid so we're just going to take that off and uh, then take the hood off all right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna unhook uh, the washer fluid lines here, right here. Okay, one of them is out. Okay, all right, at this point, so we should be able to unhook the here so let's do that yeah. all right we got the hood off and uh, we just needed a, uh, a 12 millimeter bolt on this uh, 2009 Camry so we're gonna unbend that with a piece of wood and hammer This is actually a um, um, masonry chisel. We're going to use a wood and masonry chisel to uh, unbind this thing. Yeah, so uh, I mean, this thing was pretty deep bent in, and look at it now. I mean, ignore the paint part, we're going to fix that later. But then it's coming out. So it's getting better. So let's keep doing what we're doing and get that thing straight. All right, we're gonna use a clamp 
to try to straighten it. We deal with the hammer as much as we can. We're gonna use the clamp to push it back. All right, I mean, uh, this thing was totally bent on this side, so we fixed that and made it somewhat similar to the other side, but we got a little bit more work to do. We're gonna do that, uh, just not right now. We're gonna, we gotta fix that, but it's mostly out. Yeah, we're happy with the progress so far. All right, we got uh, just a little bit more work to do because this thing went in, this side went in, so when we put it on there, uh, it's not properly sitting. As you can see, this side, it's almost there. But what's holding up is the, the lock part that's... So when we pull this out, it's going to go inside. Yeah, so to unbend the, um, the hood, we're not hitting with the regular hammer. We're just using a rubber mallet. Um, and also we're using uh, these clamps, clamps like this. And we uh, use wood on both sides. And we measured uh, how much bend is there. On the other side, the other side there's no damage, so we checked it. Uh, it was about an inch the gap so we're gonna make sure this side is also the same and we already fixed a lot of that uh, in the front here um, which is pretty close to the other side so we're gonna leave that one like that but this one we're gonna fix a little bit more um, so what we're doing is instead of directly trying to put the clamp on the metal we just use the wood which minimizes the damage so we're gonna do that All right, it looks like the gap is low enough. We can uh, definitely put this one back. All right, we have the, um, I think uh, we did pretty much most of the bends that we wanted to get out. We got it out. Um, and the rest, we're gonna take it off it during the painting, whatever dents there are. We're just gonna sand it and paint it. So we're gonna do another video on that. But for now, we're gonna mount the hood back on. Alright, we got the hood on and we also connected the uh, windshield wiper fluid lines. So this is good to go. Just got to tighten the bolts and uh, then, we, then we'll put the hood support. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hold but uh, we were able to put this on the top here. We're going to do the same thing. It's going to take a little bit of effort to put this back on. But all you have to do is just open it up and just put the clamp, push the clamp back in. Yeah, we were trying too hard to put these clips on. All you have to do is from the top here, there is a groove. You can just put it into that and push it in. And this is not, yeah, like that. That's it. You just got to slide it in. All right, both the, um, the hood support rods are in. The, the clamps, uh, one side took a little bit more time than the other, but we put the grease in and uh, you just have to slide these clips, compression clip, uh, clips from the top. So that makes it easier. I was trying too hard to uh, get them out, but in the end, we just had to do it the right way. So, but it's in. So it's standing up by itself now. So that's good. So, all right, so we're good to go on this. And um, yeah, we just got to put the cover for this thing. Uh, we're gonna put that later. All right, we're gonna put this uh, protective cover on. This is for the uh, uh, windshield wiper lines here that we have. So we gotta put this back on. Just make sure when you're putting the cover back on, you actually push it into these uh, two holders that they have. And after that, just uh, take those metal clips, uh, actually, I'm sorry, plastic clips, and just push it in, just, just go in, that's it. It's as easy as that. Taking it out is a pain in the neck, but putting it in, they just seem to go fairly easily. So, I think we're short a couple of them, maybe three or four. We'll just get them and put them in. Otherwise, we're good to go. We're done with the hood. All we need to do is sand it and paint it, and that would be another video. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking out the front end. 
and uh, we're gonna uh, unbend I can't find this part locally so I try to get it I can get it so the other side is where the most of the damage is we're gonna unbend this and unbend that and we have a new part of this one this is the radiator support we're just gonna put a new one um, and once we do this then the will be straight enough to put the lights in and once the lights are in then uh, we're gonna put the bumper back but first thing is we're gonna take the whole thing out